Good afternoon Year 3. We hope that you're all well and working hard on your home learning. Today we're going to be starting a new topic. Our theme for this term is Hucklow Scientists and our school question is what do you know about life on Earth? And for the next couple of weeks we're going to be learning about plants. So first things first, do you recognise any of these plants? I can see a big tree here, that might be an oak tree. This one looks like a rose. What about these? Do we recognise the thing that's growing on the tree? So some of you might already know some different types of plants, which is amazing. First things first, we're going to be labelling this plant. So can anyone label what's this part, the red part? And what about this long thing here? These things? Do we know what they're called? What about these things at the bottom? Look a little bit like an upside down tree. If you can name them super quickly, then can you tell me what each part does? Have a think. What does this part do? What does this part do? Does anyone know? Okay, how did you do? Did we get the top red part was the flower? The long stalk like stem? Green leaves and the root that's holding the plant in the ground. Well done if you got those correct. Now every single part of the plant does a different job and this is called its function. Now we're just going to watch a three minute video clip which tells us all about the different functions of plants. And while you're watching the video, I want you to make note or remember the function of each different part of the plant. This will really help us in our task later. Take much better care of it. 
let's look together at what we found out. So starting with the roots, where do we find the roots of a plant? Is it at the top or at the bottom? So they grow underneath a plant below the surface of the soil. And they're usually long and covered in small teeny tiny hairs. Can anyone tell me what their job or their function is? So there's two different functions. They anchor the plant in the ground, they make sure it doesn't fall over. And they absorb water and nutrients from the soil to help the plant grow. And moving on to the stem or the trunk. Trunk is often the word that we call it when it's a tree. So branches, leaves and flowers grow from the stem or the trunk. You can see from this one, it's got some branches growing out of it. And on trees, the trunk's woody and it often has a layer of bark around it. So that's the brown bit that looks a little bit wrinkly. And what job does the stem do? So it holds the plant up and it carries water and nutrients from the roots in the soil all the way to the leaves. What do the leaves do? So the leaves make food for the plant using sunlight and carbon dioxide from the air. Carbon dioxide's a gas that's all around us. Over the next couple of weeks we're going to be learning a little bit more about how plants make food using sunlight and carbon dioxide. And finally, what is the flower's job or the flower's function? So they're brightly coloured to attract insects or birds, which the insects carry pollen from flowers to flowers, which the flowers use to make seeds grow into new plants. Okay, moving on to our first task. In your packs you should have got this pears game. So you're going to chop them all up, all the pictures and the captions, and you're going to turn them all over. So they're upside down, and then one at a time with someone in your family, you're going to turn a card over, and you've got to try and match the picture to the definition. So what transports water around a plant? And that would be the stem. So if you've got the picture of the stem and you've got this caption, then you've got a pair and you get to keep them. When all the cards are gone, the winner is the person with the most pairs of cards. So I would like you to pause this video now so you can play this with your family. It could be a sibling, your brother or sisters, mums, dads, someone in your house. See who wins, see if you can beat your family member. And when you've finished playing, then just press play and continue the video so you can find out your final task. Okay, so for your main task, you are going to need this proud folder sheet out of your pack and the flower that you've got to cut up out of your pack. And the first job is to cut out the parts of the flower really neatly. And when you've done that, you're going to stick them all together in the middle of your proud folder sheet. So it's going to end up looking something like this. And then you're going to label each part. So what is this part called? What's this part called? And you're going to draw arrows from the picture to the caption. So blue group, you're going to write in the part of the plant green group you've got some blanks to fill in so you need to fill in the missing words and everyone else you're going to write and tell me the function of each part of the flower that you've put back together now it's time to get on with your task so year three that's your task so that's your task for today year three if you are stuck you can rewind the video to help you recall the function of each part for the lessons for the rest of the week in science, so your lesson on Wednesday and your lesson on Thursday, 
you have got a choice of what activity you want to do. So we've given you a science learning menu and you're going to pick one thing every day on Wednesday and Thursday to do. We've got eight choices. So choose which one interests you and have a really good try at doing the task. When you've finished it, send pictures of your work to your teachers so that we can have a look at it and we can put it onto the blog to show everyone else. I can't wait to see what learning you produce. Well done and stay really safe at home. Keep working hard.